Hi, this is Arthur Karmazi, best-selling author and currently ranked as one of the world's top 10 thought leaders in organizational culture and leadership. And welcome to Where's Your Brain? Today, we are going to be talking about how to improve teamwork and communication in less than 37 minutes. And that basically deals with understanding and connecting ambiguity relief in and throughout your team. So let's go ahead and get a little bit started with what we're going to be talking about. So first of all, as you remember from previous Where's Your Brain videos, what ambiguity relief is, is the clarity getting process of the brain. How your brain gets clarity and of course how action is connected or how action is associated to that clarity getting process. And we've also discussed and gone through all of the factors of how and why it is genetic. So it's something you cannot change. All right. Now we have also gone through the four main ambiguity relief processes. Okay. So there are a very small portion of the population that have other than these, but the majority will fit into these for ambiguity relief processes. These are the different brain colors that we've discussed that give people um, or that identify the genetic process by which people are essentially getting clarity, um, coming up with ideas, doing, uh, coming up with solutions, uh, coming up with innovations. All of these things are basically filtered through your brain's ambiguity relief process, okay? And of course, we also discussed in previous videos about brain power, that brain power is not necessarily how intelligent you are, but basically how much you can achieve. And of course, we looked at how being true to your own brain process actually helps you to achieve more and by leveraging on other brain processes, well, then you are able to connect to a bigger perspective and possibilities by basically getting multiple perspectives on the same thing and as long as you understand each other, that means you won't kill each other. So that means you'll be open to understanding and synergizing all of these different perspectives in order to create more awesome end results. Okay, and so now what we're going to be doing today is talking about dun, 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 the Colored Brain Team Enhancement System, which basically helps you to identify your colored brain. Okay, so if you go to coloredbrain.com, you'll be able to see this thing there. But let me tell you a little bit about what it does and why within 37 minutes, you can literally improve, visibly improve team performance, communication, and basically general awesomeness. Okay, so First of all, you're going to take the test. Now, this is not, not an uncommon practice. You go somewhere, you go to a website, you take a test, yippee, okay? So you know your stuff. You may know your colored brain. Fantastic. So what, man, okay? I mean, it's going to give you some personal insights. Great. And once you understand your personal insights, it's definitely going to help you to manage your own expectations. But what about the team? Here's the problem. A lot of times you're trying to solve all these problems at work and you say, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to find out about myself. And so you go into these kinds of tests like colored brain and you find out, okay, about yourself. Okay. In this particular case, you find out your own ambiguity relief process, which is super cool. And it's going to help you as a person, as an individual. But here's what happens. You go back to your team and your team says, dude, we're too busy. We don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. We didn't go to that training. We didn't watch those videos. Okay. We're too busy. So eventually the only person that really gets the benefit is you. That doesn't necessarily help the team. It might manage, it might help how you manage the team, 
But at the end of the day, don't you want the team to understand you too? I mean, don't you think that would help? And uh, wouldn't it be cool to be able to identify people who may have some issues with you but never said anything? So that's what we're basically creating here. So once you find out about you, the next key is connecting everybody and everything. Connectivity is the key to success. Why? Well, because now not only do you see within the system, do you see every other person on your team and you see their brain colors, but remember, one of the key things in the colored brain is the miscommunication insights, all right? Which basically means that you also not only see who are the people uh, or what is your primary brain color, what is your brain color and how you genetically interpret and process the world around you, which determines more or less, you know, how you get stuff done, okay? But it also gives you an insight on who are the people that just drive you a little bit crazy and what to do with these people. Now, on top of that, remember that the colored brain system also includes a little bit of training, and it only takes you about 20 minutes to take the test and maybe about another 15 minutes to kind of get an idea of what it is. Okay, and maybe a little too few minutes there. So we're looking at maybe 37 minutes for each person to understand colored brain well enough, take the test, be able to not only understand their colored brain, but also the miscommunication insights. And now I see Hey, dude, okay, this person over here is in my danger zone, okay? Now, here's the thing. I'll also be able to see team member A over here. I'm in his danger zone. And maybe I never knew that. Maybe I'm just driving this guy totally crazy, and he never said anything. He's just kind of like talking behind my back which would be super uncool because that's not going to give me the feedback I need in order to improve. So what we got to do is we got to be able to see transparently who is having difficulties with who and being able to understand each other so that you can essentially say, ah, oh, now I know why this guy is like that. In fact, when we did a culture change project for Emirates, one of the, well, there were two people that were always, always, always getting into, well, let's just say conflict, okay? The boss, his name was Jean-Francois and his subordinate, Karina, okay? Jean-Francois, guess where he was from? He was from France. And of course, Karina, she was a Swiss lady, both of them extremely smart, except that Karina was kind of green-brained and Jean-Francois, well, he was red. And so what would happen is that Jean-Francois would call Karina into his office and he would say, Karina, I need you to do this. And immediately Karina's starting to think, whoa, 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 because Karina is green-brained, okay? And Jean-Francois is red-brained. And so he's starting to think in structure and, and, and Karina's thinking, oh, I got it. And she's starting to go. But Jean-Francois says, no, Karina, you must sit here and you must understand exactly what it is and how you should do it. And she was like this and like this and like this and like this. And Karina's thinking, oh, my gosh, why do I have to be tortured by this guy? And so, okay. Finally, Karina would just go off and do her thing, and then she'd say, okay, boss, it's done. And, and the boss is like, Jean-François is like, but Karina, what exactly did you do? I do not have the structure, do not have the clarity, I do not know. And then they would get into fights and all this stuff until they discovered their colored brains. And then at the same time, they were both in different classes, and, and Karina would call Jean-François, and she said, boss, boss, guess what? Okay, I'm green, and he says, and I am red. And at the same time on the phone, they would say, that's why, okay? And so what happened was that Karine and Jean-Francois decided to take a different strategy, okay? Jean-Francois would now call Karina into his office. Karina, would you come into my office, please? And then Karina, of course, would come into the office, and then Jean-Francois would say, I need you to do this. Do you have any question? 
And then Karina might ask a few questions, and, you know, so I find out exactly what he wants. Then she'd go out and do it. And then when she'd come back, she would say, okay, boss, here is what I did. I did it like this, and I did it like that, and I did it like that, giving him the clarity and the structure that would make him real, feel really good inside. Okay, so... Now, of course, after that, they were like the poster kids of awesomeness because they got stuff done and they got it done fast and they got it done without conflict. Why? Because they were aware of their miscommunication insights and they were also aware of their colored brains, which helped them to manage their expectations and set each other up for success. Okay, so remember that there are probably people in your team that you don't know that they basically have a problem with you. So check it out, man. Now you can see the little skull and crossbones just like the little thing up here. Okay, and that shows you they might not really deal with you very well. At least they don't think so. They might not say anything, but now you know. And now they know. Okay? And so now everything is out in the open. Plus, you got a little bit of training. All of a sudden, less than 37 minutes. And then it's done. But wait. Is that enough? Because, you know, still, people are busy, right? Okay? So here's the thing. What if I am green-brained and I need to know how to lead a purple brain? Okay, do, did, did all that stuff, was all that stuff in the videos? Do I need to remember all of these different things? I don't have time to remember all this stuff. And that's why, dun, 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 the system has a list of things that you can actually do. So I need to lead somebody better. I need to communicate with somebody more. I need to improve productivity with somebody. I need to have better relationship with somebody. And it gives me very specific things that I can do. So once I say, oh, okay, I want okay, leadership, then I click on leadership and I go into another little section that gives me a step-by-step way to solve that problem or do that thing, okay? All at the touch of a button. I don't need to think, I don't need to remember anything. Now, of course, if you want to watch more of these videos, then of course you're going to learn all sorts of cool stuff about colored brain. But what if you just don't have time, okay? Or maybe if your team members don't have time or they're just not interested, but they can click a button and they can read a little thing for about one to two minutes so that they can solve their problems instantly simply by clicking on, oh, okay, I need to deal with this person, click, and then it'll tell you exactly what to do. So, we're talking about gamification and human connection, okay? So, by managing expectations, by connecting everybody, and by making it kind of fun with, you know, the danger zone and the little skull and crossbones and, you know, who's going to fit where and how people are going to do all this stuff. So, you got the little gamification thing. It's fun. It's fast. It basically makes everybody kind of connected. Why? Because everybody sees each other. People are having a good time, okay? And remember, the whole point is set people up for success instead of failure. And with that, okay, I want to share with you a very, 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 very special deal on how you can get your team for free. Okay, let me rephrase that. How you can get the CBCI, how you can find out uh, the, tele the uh, colored brain of your team for free. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Okay, because this is only, and you can't, you can only do this once, okay? I gotta tell you, all right? Because this is like this super crazy thing that I'm gonna give you. You can only do it once, and we know who you are, so uh, when you buy the first one, okay, if you get them, okay, you can't get more, okay? This is just a, cause this is a trial thing, because we know that once you start doing this, for you know your first team that you're going to be telling this to everybody else and they're going to be going wow this is super cool okay so here's the deal all right you buy one colored brain communication inventory at a 68% discount which basically equals to 7 bucks and we'll give you four for free okay so that means you got you plus a team of four other people for 7 bucks now I don't need to say the value here. I mean, it's 1895 times five, okay? So it's close to a hundred bucks that you're getting for seven bucks. 
Okay, so now let's kind of look at the benefits here. What if, what if, okay, you are able to simply improve the relationships, okay, within your team, okay, even just a little bit, okay? What would that do for your productivity? What would that do for your engagement? And what if, okay, you're able to improve communication and understanding, even just a little bit, okay? How would that affect your effectiveness, all right? So think about it, okay? How good are you going to look when your team is operating at a peak, okay? So do make sure you go to coloredbrain.com slash for free. Now remember, you can only do this one time. Please do not do it you know, more than once. Okay, this is kind of like a trial thing so that you get to actually do it. And of course, the more you understand you know, colored brain, um, the easier this is going to get. You will be able to do some amazing things. But of course, the first thing to start with is understanding yourself and understanding your team. And I'm making it very easy for you with this special deal. With that, this is Arthur F. Kermazi wishing you great success.